Hey Freebs Nation, it's Jordan Page with FunCheaperFree.com and today we're going inside my laundry room. I'm gonna show you my best laundry hacks. Get ready for this, you've been asking for it. Oh yeah, you have. Many, many, many of you have seen my laundry routine video. Y'all went crazy about it, actually. I will link that below. Because I am a mom of six kids, soon to be eight kids, 10 and under. And as you can imagine, we go through a lot of laundry in our house. Like a lot. So much laundry. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> So over the years, I have become a laundry sensei, master, guru, pro, if you will, because I don't like to spend a lot on my clothes nor my kids' clothes, but I want them to look nice. I want them to last, especially because a lot of our kids are only 18 months apart. So we gotta hand those babies down. So along with my laundry routine that many of you have watched, you have asked for more laundry tips. So here we are. Today I'm gonna to share with you my best laundry hacks for getting out stains, for keeping your whites whiter, for keeping organized, for staying on top of the piles and the messes, and some little tips, tricks, and hacks that you may not know. So let's just do it. My first tip or hack is to choose a laundry day. This is important when it comes to creating a laundry system for your home. What this doesn't mean is that you can only do laundry on that day. What it does mean is you have one day a week set aside where laundry is on the brain. And this is where you go through your whole house and you make sure to rotate the towels or the bedding or the sheets or maybe the bath rugs or you dig under your kids' beds or wherever else they shove their dirty clothes, ensuring that at least once a week or so, you're rotating all those things that otherwise would sit and get pretty nasty. For me, that is Monday. Start of a new week gets us off on the right foot. For me, that day means I gather everything and I sort. And we will get to the sorting part, but first let's talk about the gathering part. I don't know if this is a blessing or a curse, but in my house we have an old school laundry chute. So all my kids just throw all their dirty stuff down the chute and... I need a minute. <laughs> My next tip comes down to sorting. You guys, if you do not sort your laundry, I guarantee you it will not get as clean or look as good as it could and should. Take the time to sort and do it right. You can sort as you go throughout the week or like me, I take Monday and I spend maybe 30 minutes going through all the clothes and all the piles and just sorting them so that that day and then throughout the rest of the week I can just pop in loads like crazy. With sorting, here are a few tips and hacks that you may not do. Number one is you should not be sorting by color. You should be sorting by texture. Way back in the day, grandma's washing machine, if you threw something light in with something dark, it would potentially stain the light thing. Any more technology is amazing. Washers and dryers are much more advanced than they were. So the colors are going to be fine. But in order for your clothes to get as clean as possible and last as long as possible, you need to be more concerned about texture and not separating lights and darks. I go through this in really explicit detail in my laundry routine video. Check that out below. But in a nutshell, Nutshell. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. Here's what I suggest. Separate your piles based on texture. Now I'm just gonna talk about kids' clothes for a minute because I do wash mine and Bubba's clothes a little bit differently. I have one pile of more heavy, sturdy items. That would include fleece, jammies, pants, athletic gear, denim, things that really are just thick and thick. I can't think of another word, guys. The heavier weight items. Those go in a pile. I will say though, if I do have quite a few jeans or denims to wash that day, then I will separate denim into a separate pile. Otherwise, heavy. Next is light items, cotton items. These tend to be things like shirts or dresses or tops that are a lighter weight and that maybe show stains or spots a lot more than something heavier like fleece jammies would. Also, the lighter weight stuff tends to be the stuff that you want to look the nicest because perhaps you're wearing it front and center as a shirt versus something that you would wear going to bed or dark colored pants that are on your legs. So separate into lightweight 
items. Next, I tend to do a separate pile for more delicate items, and that would be things that really don't need a heavy wash but need to be clean. That could be things like leotards or athletic gear, swimsuits, maybe church dresses or frilly skirts that need to get clean, but just on a little bit more of a delicate cycle. The one thing that I do separate by color is anything that's white. Whites are extremely important to wash by themselves, separate them out from anything. So if it's mostly white or pure white, keep them together away from everything else because that's how you keep your whites whiter and that tip is coming up soon. Like I said, sorting is really important because once your piles are sorted, laundry is a breeze. You can just crank through it really quickly. One tip though, make sure that you turn all of your clothes right side out and you can even zip them up because not only does it consolidate space and you can get more in a load of wash, but it also ensures that the clothing gets a better, more thorough wash and it just ends up looking better and lasting quite a bit longer. One of the reasons for separating clothes by texture is because when you have something that's super sturdy, heavyweight, durable, in with something that's lightweight, lighter fabric, maybe needs a more thorough wash, this is gonna get all of the attention from the soap and the suds and the washing. This will overpower this, and you will find that this will not come out very clean. So you need to separate these so that like-minded textures are together and it allows you to use less detergent, less soap, and get a better wash. Another laundry hack that you might not know, and this goes for almost everything except for whites and towels, is the cooler the water, the less stains will remain. A lot of people think that if you have dirty clothes, you should wash them on hot water, but hot water actually sets in most stains. So wash your clothes on cold water or warm water at the most, unless it's whites. I'm just gonna close this because I'm tired of looking at it. <sighs> when it comes to sorting, one thing you should also sort out of clothes are any form of towels or washcloths or heavy terry items like this. So that's a tip. But a hack that you may not know about is, I don't know about you, but any of these things like cleaning rags, towels, even bibs, after a while they just kind of start to get stinky. To combat this, use vinegar. If you wash these in a load, put a cup of vinegar in the soap dispenser just like you would any other detergent, it will clean the fibers, it'll strip them of any of the buildup that is inevitable with materials like this, and it takes away any stinky smell and no, your laundry will not smell like vinegar. And ugh, say goodbye to bad smells. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Ugh. One of my favorite hacks is something I figured out years ago and that is that these little cups can get nasty and gummy and full of leftover gross soap and detergent. So after you pour your detergent in the compartment, before you start the load, just throw the entire cup on in with the dirty clothes, run the cycle and it cleans the cup every time. We wear a lot of white in our house. My kids have to wear white polos as part of their school uniforms. We do white socks. So every day I've got a giant pile of whites. And one super common question I get is, how do you keep your white so white? I was thinking maybe someday I would do an entire video just on whites because there's so much I could say about this. If you're interested in that, will you let me know in the comments below? But my 10 second synopsis is to keep your whites white, you gotta do a couple of things. Number one, you need to wash them only with other whites. As I mentioned before, make sure to sort whites only. Number two, you need to wash them in the hottest water possible, the hottest setting on your machine. And lastly, it comes down to the detergent and what you're washing them with. In general, a tip of mine is to spend the money and get the name brand quality detergent. I promise it makes a difference. It really does. I like Tide. You find what works best for you, but spend a little extra money and do it right. With whites, wash it with a good quality detergent. I like to do a scoop of OxyClean. I buy that when it's on sale at Costco and then a healthy portion of bleach and I put it on a pre-soak cycle and then wash it on as hot of water as possible. My whites come out great every time. This is for all of you type A OCDs out there like myself and that is that once you find your laundry routine and your laundry system, print it out and have a copy of it in the laundry room for anyone else who does their laundry. On my routine, I have a column for 
what the clothing is, what type of soap to use or how much, what water temperature to use, and then some washer settings that are helpful. So that way, whether it's my kids, a babysitter, or my husband, they can come in and know exactly how I like the laundry done and the best practices so that they get as clean as possible without leaving any stains behind. Socks, can we just have a moment of silence for the sock dilemma of our lives? Socks are the worst, but I have a few sock hacks for you. Number one, to avoid spending hours and hours sorting all the socks, you could keep a little tiny safety pin on the side of your socks and train your family to pin them together before they throw them in the dirty clothes. Or like me, we decided to donate any socks that had any form of print or design and we have moved to white socks only in our house. And let me tell you what, it's been a game changer. So we buy a bunch of boy socks Socks, and that's in one basket, a bunch of girl socks, which we're running a little low on, I need to do some laundry. And then we also have a basket of dark socks for church, and that is it. We buy them in sizes generic enough that my kids can just kind of make it work. And it's nice because there's no more sorting. Everything is white, we can wash them together, and they just grab what they need out of the basket. You're welcome, parents. I promise it'll save your sanity. Try it. As we all know, the washing machine eats socks, right? Or at least we've said that. Guess what? It actually does. So one more sock tip is to be sure to check the lining of the drum in your washer because I cannot tell you how many times I've pulled back this rubber lining and found socks that have been lost in the lining for who knows how long and that's not good for anybody. So be sure to check in there. Oh. Let's move over to the dryer for a minute. I've got a few dryer hacks for you. Number one is, when at all possible, dry on the lowest heat possible. Hot, hot air is really hard on clothes. And as mentioned before, heat sets in stains. So one tip you might wanna consider is be sure to spot treat your clothes before they go in the washer because once a stain has been dried, especially on hot, air, it's probably not gonna come out anymore. So be very slow to dry until you're sure that you've spot treated. Another tip is to just air dry as much as you can. Not only does it cut down on your electric bill, but it is better for your clothes over time. But if you are going to dry, which is totally fine, I do it all the time, let's talk about dryer sheets. We like dryer sheets here in Utah because it helps cut down on static. But one thing that you may not know is that this one little sheet is way more than you need. If you like using dryer sheets, be sure to rip them at least in half because half is more than enough for a load. Stretch them twice as far. But did you know you can make your own dryer sheets for pretty inexpensively? All you need are some cloths, some vinegar, and a little bit of essential oils, and you can make your own dryer sheets. Or you can buy reusable dryer balls that are affordable as well, and you toss it in, it helps cut down on that static. Or best yet, go to your kitchen, Make yourself a ball of foil about the size of a small baseball, and that works great as a dryer sheet and can be used again and again and again. You've sorted the clothes, you've washed the clothes, you've dried the clothes. Now it's my least favorite part of laundry, which is putting them away. Oh, I hate it. Oh. I showed my basket system on my laundry routine video and y'all went crazy over it. So I will include that as one of my tips and that is to create a basket system for your family. What I've done is I have given every member of the family their own basket and then just for easy reference for everybody, I have labeled each basket with the child's name and their current size. It allows me to enlist the help of my family. So for example, my six-year-old will come in and I will put him in charge of sorting the laundry. We take it out of the dryer, we throw it in a basket. I don't even fold it anymore. I just dry it on a wrinkle-free setting. And then his job is to sort the clothes and throw them in whosoever baskets they belong to. And at the end of the night, they need to take their basket of clean clothes up to their room and they are in charge of folding them and putting them away you're welcome, moms. We also use these baskets as I'm cleaning up the house. If I find things that belong to my kids that need to go up in their rooms, I just throw them in their basket so it has a place. Are you guys ready for the best hack of all? It comes down to sorting clean clothes. If your kids are anything like mine, sometimes it's hard to tell 
whose clothes are whose, maybe because their uniforms and they're all the same, the tag or label has ripped off or rubbed off, or maybe if your kids are like mine, they're so close in age that one shirt may be for one kid and it's one size, but that exact same size in a different shirt might be for another kid and it just gets really confusing. I would like to introduce you to the dot system. I've shown this before and it is a lifesaver. Here's how I use it for their clothes. I've got three girls in my family, so each girl is assigned a dot according to their birth order. So my oldest daughter, she gets one dot. And that usually is done on a tag. If there isn't a tag or label, then I will do it, you know, somewhere on the hem where it won't show through on the other side. So Priya gets one dot for being the oldest girl. But then if it's something that's in good enough shape that I can pass it down to my next daughter, then I simply take the clothes and add a second dot to represent that this belongs to our second daughter. And then you guessed it, when our second daughter outgrows that shirt, it is time to add a third dot, and it now is Maurice, who is the third daughter, and it now goes in her basket. Bada bing, bada boom, you're welcome. My work here is done. It's done. My last tip is parents, teach your kids to do their own laundry. This weight, this burden does not have to only fall on your shoulders. I am very particular about my laundry. I feel like if it's not done well, then it ruins all the clothes, but that doesn't mean that you can't train your family or teach your family how to do laundry well as well. So my kids starting at eight years old, we start having them do their own laundry. And then when they're as young as three or four, thanks to the dot system and the basket systems, they help us sort the laundry and put it away. Share the load teach your kids these skills so that when they're off to college and off in their own marriage and making their own families, that they have the skills to become laundry ninjas just like you. You got this. So there you have it. Those are some of my best laundry tips, tricks, and hacks. What are yours? please share in the comments below. I love learning from you guys. Again, if you haven't watched my laundry routine video, I will link that below. If you want more systems, productivity, life hacks like this, check out my productivity program. It's called productivitybootcamp.com. There's a lot about creating organized systems for your family and how to stay on top of things like laundry messes. Use the code YouTube for 10% off. I have to stop talking because being in here is giving me all sorts of anxiety. You saw my pile of dirty clothes. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna get to work and I'm gonna let you guys just do your thing, okay? So bye, I gotta go. Bye, see you later, bye. Bye, bye. What? Oh my gosh. Glow sticks. Of course, naturally. Why wouldn't there be glow sticks in the laundry?